I have the best part, the most difficult part. And uh, this is um, the untold story of the Kumquat crew. Kumquat crew. Hilarious, I, I, I have to say, hilarious. Here comes the untold story oh, of the Kumquat crew. You guys can whip around us, come right in between us. Yep. Oh man. It's good to see you guys. Can you step a little bit closer to Tom? Yeah. yeah. Let me just say, I saw this film. I was crying. That's how funny it was. Funniest movie. I, I will say. Some people didn't agree with it, but I thought it was hella funny, okay? Now, what was your favorite part of making this movie? Uh, I think, if anything, it was really just uh, it was the experience. Um, it's just a lot of good people uh, we coming together, and the experience of it was really, uh, I think, my personal favorite experience. Okay, just making of it, huh? Now, now what was the most difficult part about making this movie? The fact that they really did nothing ever. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I, I heard like you know rumors like you guys didn't have a movie at first. Is that like kind of true? I I still wouldn't say we have a movie per se. <laughs> Rather a uh, a visual depiction of the lives that we lead. Oh wow! I love it. Now uh, who is the most difficult to work with on this crew? Dylan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kofsky. Figure it out, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. And lastly, guys, very important question. What's each of your favorite jelly beans? I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, eat jelly beans on a regular basis. Uh, I just prefer <laughs> baked beans. Baked beans? And cherry. Great. I always felt the jelly bean to be uh, oppressive to the, uh, the Wampanoag <laughs> tribe. Uh, they created the jelly bean, and it was, uh, <laughs> it was taken from them by uh, foragers back in 1643, uh, and it doesn't get enough attention, I feel, and we're here mainly to bring awareness to that and the Wonkanoa tribe, so. There you have it, Congrats folks. Congrats on your nomination. You Walk the red carpet, get a little laugh, a little clap. Right. And you're off to Mr. McCall. All right. And we're now joined by the cast and crew of, did you guys actually have a title? Is it just Kumquat Project? Uh, untold Story of the Kumquat Crew. All right, the Untold Story of the Kumquat Crew. Um, and your movie has had an interesting genesis. It was quite uh, sort of an odyssey almost, you know, much as the hero Odysseus had to wander many places before he could finally reach his, his home. You guys sort of had a similar... Similar deal with that too, right, uh, Mr. Fang? Uh, yeah, and uh, Homer was uh, one of my greater inspirations upon creating this film. I think the same goes for all of us. We're big, uh, we're big Homer heads. We've always said, and I think the journey was really the the point we need to take away from this. Yeah, I think so. Sorry to cut you off there, but um, you know, it. I, I definitely see you know the influences Homer. I see a little Faulkner kind of sprinkled in there too. So yeah. That and you know, admittedly, I'm maybe a little ill-disposed to your crew because a certain person, not going to name names, Miles, wouldn't maybe let me do a Southern accent uh, in the scene I was shooting. Um, thought that, but that's okay. I'm sure you had a better, better vision. I mean, it's just that might have been an accent I maybe spent ten minutes in a car perfecting before beforehand. But that's okay because I think it turned out probably for the best in that situation. And. Uh, you know, your movie also involves a lot of wrestling uh, at points. And Mr. Kofsky, what is that symbolic of? I think just Liam Wainwright's presence overall. Mm -hmm. He just its a very, very violent man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is terrifying. I would not. Oh, my God, he's here. Uh, we, um, okay, uh, well, I'm a little frightened for my safety, but that's okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I will not ask you any questions that might, uh, incur your wrath. But, uh, I guess lastly to finish, just going with the wrestling theme, if you guys were going to enter using the theme song of any WWE superstar, past or present, who is it that you would choose? Cax or Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. So, Shawn Michaels, good choice, good choice. So, guys, good luck tonight, and have a great evening.
Hello. So, how much of your film do you think was, um, how much of your film was scripted and how much was just like ad-libbed in the scenario? You know, we, uh, we trusted our gut on this one and, um, <laughs> what was the question? Um, how much of your film was ad-libbed ad -libbed and how much was actually scripted? Uh, we really, when we made the film, uh, just wanted to go with the, the flow of what happened, so, uh. I don't think any of us could really answer that question. Thank you. <laughs> what was uh, Mr. Allen's reaction to your film? Um, well, obviously, he thought it was nice. I mean, it was okay, but um, I, don't, I don't know. I would say that he was too enthusiastic about it. He cared too much. Yeah. Andrew, uh, what was it like working alongside some of your uh, best friends in this film, and how did you mix like the shenanigans with being serious and actually getting the film done? Well, uh, we behave in silly ways, and uh, we copy and pasted that into a uh, a movie, and we explored the theme of friendship and and what goes wrong and how you can how you can handle that. So. What's the inspiration for the film? Life. <laughs> what was the best scene to film? The best scene to film. Best scene to film. Best scene. Best scene. Best scene. Probably the lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they yeah. also took my pants that day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, pants. the multiple times we forced Dylan to get naked in the auditorium. Yeah. yeah. Fun times indeed. And the time Ryan got naked in the TV studio. <laughs> More fun times. Yeah. I didn't know that. How long did it take to make your movie? 14 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. One last question. Liam, who are you wearing? No comment. <laughs> Great job. Woo!